Hello and welcome to another edition of parkbench.com. Uh, today we're at the Split Tree Barbecue in Alvington, Kentucky. I'm with the owner, Rebecca Pruitt. Uh, Rebecca, welcome. Thank and you. thank you for being here today. And please tell everybody a little bit about Split Tree Barbecue. So Split Tree originated in 1981. Jerome Wilson opened it up and he um, is my husband's uncle. So August the 1st of this year, we decided we were going to come up here and take it over and try to get more involved with our community and provide some really good food. <laughs> All right, well, that's really neat. Now, what did you do before you took over the business? So before I took over and actually still employed through Life Skills, I worked with special needs children. Oh, that's Yes, nice. and then through college and stuff, I actually worked for Buffalo Wild Wings and I was part of their leadership team that would go and take franchise stores and turn them corporate and kind of go in and clean house and get it all set back up. <laughs> well, all right. Well, that's very interesting. I'll talk to you later about life skills and maybe uh, try to get them on an interview as well and mm -hmm. get the word out about them. So y'all are just now taking over. Is there any big changes, you know, in the So we are future? adding lots of menu items. So here lately we've added a new pork loin. We added some beef ribs, some jalapeno corn cakes, um, some things to come, or we're going to open for breakfast. So well, we're I've got pretty that. excited. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the first thing that comes to mind when you talk about the jalapeno corn cakes now, do you have white beans? We don't. We have oh. our we have Jerome's recipe, his original recipe for his pork beans. So um, it's a house recipe, and then also his mild sauce is continued. And I made sure that he came up here and trained me on how to make his mild sauce. Now we did add a new white Alabama sauce that is my recipe, and so okay. far everybody's really enjoyed it. Well, that's great. Uh, now, what hours are you open? Right so now, right so? now we are open Wednesday and Thursday from ten to eight. Friday and Saturday from 10 to 9, and Sunday 11 to 7. Well, that's great. Now, what made you decide to get into this business? I mean... So, the previous owner was leaving, and it kind of just fell into my lap. It's a family-owned business, and so our family's always been involved, and it kind of just got handed down to me. Right. Now, is uh, Mr. Wilson, is he still alive? Is he, he is. He's enjoying his retirement life. Now, I you'll bet. see him stop in here quite a bit, though. Well, that was my, <laughs> that was my next question, you know, is I'm sure, he, you know, if it was myself, it'd be hard for me to stay out of the kitchen, if you know what I mean. Oh, you know? yeah. So, uh, you know, I have to give my little two cents worth. So he will, still, too. Oh, he, he will. will. Yes, he That's will. Neat. He wants to make, he wants the best for this restaurant. This is his legacy we're trying to continue here, so. Well, that's exactly right. That's great. Well, mm -hmm. maybe we need to have a Jerome Wilson day or something yep. like that, and everybody come by and try the barbecue and, yep. and meet uh, Mr. Wilson. Well, that's neat. Well, tell me something about, uh, now we learned a lot about the history, and this is kind of neat. Is there anything about uh, Split Tree that people might not know? So Split Tree was originally on the old road. So there used to be a smaller building and we've actually had some paintings done. So on this wall over here, you'll see a picture of the original building. When they wow. came in and did the new road, this building was put here in 2005 and I have had a painter. It's actually a little girl who was working for me and helping us open up the store. Now she painted it and it's right now getting framed and it'll be up on that wall too. Well, that's neat. Now when you talk about the old road, which because so, I'm, I'm not originally from here. Okay, so, so Scottsville Road? Road used to be a two-lane road. Now it's right. a four-lane. So when they brought in the four lanes, we lost a lot of this frontage. And so the old store was literally right up there where the road oh, okay. was. Yes. So I they had to move that. it back. And it took, oh, it took a couple years for it all to get done. So this building was open in 2005. So the original building was in front of this. Mm -hmm. No kidding. Well, that's a shame to lose a piece of history like that. But. So we have some memories, though. And actually, all the pictures in this restaurant are a lot of our community leaders and, and families from around here. Their families are on this wall. Well, that's neat. Well, I'll have to save a snapshot, you know, of, of our conversation today. And we can put that on the wall, yep. too. Mm -hmm. uh, now, something about uh, that when you first notice, first walk in, obviously, the smell of barbecue, which mm -hmm. is great. 
But how big the place is, I don't think you really realize how big it is. 5,000 square feet. Wow. How many people will that sit? A lot. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. So, and we also, for our big dining room, we're able to shut that off and host um, private parties. Well, that's like what that. I was mm -hmm. I was getting to as far as private parties with the holidays coming around. We've done several since I've taken it over in August. We've held a high school reunion, birthday parties, baby showers. We've wow. done it all so far. We only want to do more. That's. I bet that sounds great. Uh, well, that's really neat. Well, tell me more about Rebecca and your family. So, um, I've grown up out here all my whole life. Um, I lived across the creek, and then, of course, my husband, where we're sitting right now, was the farm he grew up on. So, we kind of just met, and then now my husband and I have three little boys. My oldest has Down syndrome, oh. and then I have two younger ones, and they are all boys oh i bet <laughs> all boys so we're pretty busy my husband also owns a soft wash business so he washes houses and roofs and concrete all and right well, that's good we're pretty know. busy people <laughs> i bet uh especially with all the new construction in the area and a lot of people including myself just moving to the area so this, and it's growing and it's only going to continue to grow yes right uh now, how can people get in touch with you or find out more information? So our perfect way to get in touch with us is to call up here at Split Tree at 842-2268. And then also the Facebook page. I now have some access to our new Facebook page. Well, it's the old Facebook page, but I'm pretty good at responding. Right. Give me a few minutes. And if I see it pop up on my phone, I'm going to respond. So. Well, that's great. Uh, so that brings us up to today. Now, what about the future? What does the future hope for? So like I said, we're pretty excited about the breakfast and we're gonna to try to get more involved. We want the community in our doors. We wanna be part of this community. So next year, um, we're planning some community events. We'd like to host car shows and right. um, trick or, trunk or treat. Right. Um, let's see, what else do we have? I, of course, I told you I had three little boys. So I'm hoping one day, Maybe one of my boys will want to come up here and sure, let me going. retire too. All right, keep it going. Well, <laughs> yes. That's great. Uh, now, as far as getting the community involved in things like it, do you have coupons on your Facebook we page do. or somewhere else? We do. Well, we, they're else? not on our Facebook page. So right now, um, that we will, and we're going to throw QR codes out there, use those so they can come in here. Right now, there is a local BG flip coupon book that was mailed out to all the residents. So check their mailboxes. Check, check your mailboxes. And they have some good $5 off coupons, free dessert, free drinks. Um, and I will do that regularly. So it runs every three months. So those coupons are good till Christmas. And then a new one will come out at the first of the year. And there'll be a different That's set great. of coupons. Well, great. Well, thank you very much for doing this. A lot of great information. I look forward to coming back maybe yes. in the spring. We'll bring See? Jerome over here. That's and right. <laughs> that would be neat too. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. So get in touch with Rebecca for all your barbecue or special event needs. If you need any help with real estate in the area, give me a call, Jim Atkins. Thank you very much. Thank See you. See you in about a week. Bye-bye.